All right, back in Photoshop, I did want to show you one more thing. Let's say I have these walls that are kind of boring, and I wanted to add something else to them. I could. I could add more texture on top of this because this is all baked in. So I could make a layer, and let's say I wanted to paint something in here. I could. I could use kind of this effect right here, and I can grab some red. paint some on there and I could turn that to multiply or overlay okay and there I got now some kind of blood splatter on the wall very simple also because it's on another layer I can adjust the opacity of it opacity and then it becomes even more ingrained so that's a very cool way to do that uh, just to add something real quick to a wall Let's say I wanted to add another texture on the top. I could also do that since it's all one big, huge, uniformed mess here. What I do like to do is show that. And I got this house of tutorials.net slash Z flea market. I got a bunch of uh, textures out here that are not uh, commercial grade. So. I just take them with my camera. Okay, and I got stuff like rust and steel and all kinds of crazy stuff. But what's really nice about these, I can copy this image and go back into Photoshop and edit paste it in. And you can see the size difference is a little bit weird on this one, but let me just like this and let's say I want to make the walls so they're not so uniformed I could take this and turn it on multiply if I wanted to or overlay okay and then I could lower the opacity down on it so now all the walls have a little bit of grunge and stuff appearing on them okay a very quick way to randomize textures okay and if I save that now now under room one baked it'll say something about increasing layers because you have layers so it'll increase the size of the texture that won't really matter too much on build This will update. And once it updates, we hit play. We'll just have to look for that wall that I put a splatter on. I just kind of randomly picked one, so. probably put in the darkest room in the place but that's how it's done anyway all right i just wanted to show you that you could paint textures how you overlay textures to add or add more dimensions to the textures add more depth to the textures and it's a great way to unify colors too because if you really think about it back here in photoshop some of these textures that don't match like this brown and this blue okay well you know, a very quick way to unify all textures within Photoshop is to dump a color over the top of it and tint it just a little bit of the blue, just like old oil painters used to do. And now you have this tint of blue and it unifies all the colors. So lots of different tricks. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. Enjoy. On to the next one.